you know, my first thought was, is my son's name going to be behind a hashtag one day? Absolutely not. And whatever it takes for things to change, whether I'm knocking down doors or marching in streets, whatever it takes for those things to change, that's what I'm going to do because I refuse. I refuse to allow that to happen to my son, to his siblings, to his cousins, to his father, to his family, to any of them. I, I won't I won't stand for it. It it didn't matter that it was only a handful of us because we were loud anyways. We we were gonna make sure our voices were being heard and we were gonna make sure that our presence was gonna be seen, you know, because enough is enough. Nothing was gonna drown us out especially walking down Main Street in Chisholm because those buildings, like, you know, our voices were just like thundering through, um, which to me was amazing. I loved it. I was like, y'all hear that? <laughs> Can y'all hear us? But it's one thing to like have this idea in your head that you have this voice to use. And it's another thing to hear it echoing through the streets of your community behind something that you are so passionate about and so adamant about and stand so firmly on you know and and just so that the people in your community know this is who I am and this is who I'm always going to be and nothing is going to change that y'all have to change yeah we're not sitting down we're not comfortable you know, I, I tell people all the time that I'm not going to sit down and shut up just so that you feel comfortable, you know, and I'm not going to stop until my brown kids are as safe as your white ones. And that's how I feel about it. So.